Sup, dude. Mason Plumley, aka Agent 24, aka Plum Dog Millionaire, is quite possibly the most exciting backup big man of all time. I say this because the dude has some of the craziest highlights I've ever seen, and they're not all just big man clips like posters or blocks. The guy's a really great passer, and he's got a sneaky handle. Keep in mind, Plum Dog's a seven foot tall backup center. He shouldn't be able to pull off some of the things he does. My personal favorite highlight of his occurred January 26th of this year when the Hornets faced off against the Bulls. With a minute and a half left Charlotte's up 10 the game's basically over then Plumlee decided to show everyone how big his hammer is by sidestepping into a lefty midi it was absolutely beautiful in that game he went 9 for 9 from the field putting up 21 points 12 rebounds and 4 assists pretty sick stat line but what's even sicker is he was putting up numbers like that for the entire month over the course of 15 games during January of 2023 Plumlee averaged 16 and a half points 11 rebounds and 3 assists while shooting an absurd 75% from the field that moment in time should forever be known as Plum Sanity. Although unlike Lynn Sanity, Plum Sanity didn't bring any team success. The Hornets went 5-10 during that stretch of games and then right after Charlotte traded the Plum Dog Millionaire to LA. He played the last 23 games of the season with the Clippers and looked really good, adding on to his collection of already sick highlights. In about 20 minutes a night, he averaged 7 points, 7 rebounds, and 2 assists, shooting 77% from the field. If we just look at the games where he started, his averages jump up to 10.5 points and 12 rebounds. With Plum Lord on the team, the Clippers went 13 and 10 to finish the season and were matched up against Phoenix in the first round. LA won game one behind an epic 7.11 rebound Plum Lord performance, but then the Clippers would go on to lose three straight, putting them down 3-1 in the series. The Plum Dog Millionaire wasn't just gonna sit around and let his team get dogged, so for game five, he brought the heat. In the first half, dude played eight minutes, pulled down five offensive rebounds, and converted a couple and ones. He also had two nice assists. LA was up 70 to 61 at the start of the third, but then the third quarter started and Phoenix decided to be really, really, really good at basketball. They put up 50 in the quarter. Meanwhile, the Clippers could only score 24. Devin Booker alone had more points than LA. But I don't feel bad because the Clippers only played Plum Lord three minutes. If they really wanted to win, he would have played all 48. At the start of the fourth, the score was 94 to 111. So the Clips decided now would be a good time to unleash Mason Plumley. He played the entire fourth, scoring nine points, getting a steal, and then soared through the air like a bird. Sadly, his valiant effort wasn't enough. The Suns won by six and booted the Clips out the first round. Although as a team they lost, the Plum Lord himself won because his stellar play earned him a one-year, $5 million contract to stay in LA. I personally see that contract as a huge steal for the Clippers because Plumlee, in my opinion, is worth a lot more than that. Probably closer to, let's say, like 35 to 40 mil a year. I think he's worth that much because Jalen Brown's getting paid 60 million a year and he doesn't even know how to use his left hand. Meanwhile, Plum Lord was born a righty and switched over to shooting lefty because he simply got it like that. Another reason why Plum Dog's such a beast is because he's one of nine people to ever block a LeBron James dunk. Flashback to April 8th, 2014, Mason was just a wee little lad in his rookie season. The Nets were up 88 to 87, Bron gets the ball in the paint, rises up, and no sorry Bob, get that weak shit out of here. The Plum Savage strikes again. LeBron did end up getting the last laugh though because a month later he fucked him up in the playoffs. While the Plum Lord is perfect and can do no wrong, there's a case involving him that doesn't really sit well with me. It all starts started during a game between the Nuggets and Thunder. Plumley flies over Steven Adams and instead of going for a layup, Steve catches him and saves him from injury. We've all seen it somewhere with the heartwarming music in the background and words on screen that say some shit like, NBA player saves opponent from fucking dying, faith in humanity restored. Well, I'm sorry to say your faith in humanity will be lost after you find out what the Plum Lord did to Steve. While playing for the Hornets, he faced off against Steve's Grizzlies one night and in that game he decked Steve with his back turned and then threw the ball at him. It broke my heart to see Plum Lord disrespect his savior like that. But you can't blame him. He's Mason Plumley. He's fighting his own war and he has no rules, no boundaries. He doesn't flinch at torture, human trafficking, or genocide. He's not loyal to a flag or country or any set of ideals. He trades blood for money. He's the Plum Dog Millionaire. That's all for this video. Click here to watch my Linsanity video. Thanks for watching this one. Bye, dude.